So we've seen the reactions for radical chlorination of both methane and ethane. And both of these reactions involve hydrogen extraction by a chlorine radical. But in both of these reactions, really only one major product was observed. And, and that's because all of the hydrogen atoms here are basically the same. What do I mean by that? Well, all the hydrogen atoms here are methyl hydrogens. These are methyl hydrogens. And, and if that's not clear, you can go and watch the video that I made on uh, methyl primary and tertiary hydrogen methyl primary, secondary, and tertiary hydrogen atoms. And all the hydrogens here are primary hydrogens because the carbon they're attached to is only attached to one other carbon atom. But propane, propane here, we haven't taken a look at radical halogenation of propane yet, but propane here has both primary hydrogens and secondary hydrogens. So the hydrogens on this carbon atom are primary hydrogens because the carbon they're attached to is only attached to one other carbon atom. And the same is the case for the hydrogens attached to this carbon atom. But the ones attached to this carbon atom in the middle are secondary hydrogens. So there's six primary hydrogens total. Six primary hydrogens and two secondary hydrogens. And this has quite a few implications in terms of the distributions of products observed in radical halogenation of propane. Or I, sh I shouldn't say quite a few implications, but it has a very important implication. It really affects the product distribution and and I'll go ahead and write the overall reaction for radical halogenation of propane if you remember if you leave propane really any alkane and, and chlorine gas in a dark room no reaction is going to occur so you either have to irradiate it with UV light or heat it to over 300 centigrade or Celsius whatever you want to call it and uh, so you'll get two ma you'll get two major products here you'll get this one chloropropane product but you'll also get you'll also get a two chloropropane product and you'll get this will be 43% uh, of all products will be one chloropropane and 57% of all products will be two chloropropane. And that should seem odd to you, right? Because uh, if you remember the uh, radical halogenation, it would occur by abstracting any one of these hydrogens and forming a a radical an alkyl radical in this case either a one propyl or a two propyl radical so either forming either forming this one propyl radical here by abstraction of a primary hydrogen or forming this two propyl radical here the unpaired electron being on this secondary carbon and you have you have six of these primary hydrogens but you only have two of these secondary hydrogens so you would expect a you know so six for every two is three for every one so you would expect statistically that statistically you'd expect this to be like 75%, right? Because you have three 
primary hydrogens for every one secondary hydrogen, or six primary for every two. Right, so statistical, I'll say the statistical distribution be 75% of primary and only 25% secondary but we see that's not the case we actually get 57% of our product is is this 2 chloropropane secondary chlorination product so we can let, let's see how how much more reactive uh, these secondary hydrogens are and to find that out we'll just divide the actual product ratio by the expected product ratio so uh, so I'll just write here relative reactivity equals observed you may see this as actual observed product ratio so observed or actual over the statistical You might see this called the expected over the statistical product ratio. So the observed ratio was 57% secondary product to 43% primary product. So 57 secondaries for every seven secondaries for every 43 primaries right but statistically because there's only there's only two secondary hydrogens and six primary hydrogens you'd only expect one secondary for every one secondary product for every three molecules one molecule of secondary product for every three molecules of primary product so statistically you'd expect one uh, one secondary this should be a two here or don't read this as 12 this is one secondary maybe maybe i should put a bigger space there make it more clear all right, one secondary for every three primary. So, fifty-seven over forty-three divided by one third. That's that's about the same thing as fifty, or that's the same thing as fifty-seven over forty-three times three, and this works out to about three point nine eight. And you usually see this rounded to four. So. So this is relative reactivity of secondary hydrogen to primary hydrogen. So rel relative reactivity of secondary to primary hydrogen to, uh, to radical chlorination. So, secondary hydrogens are about four times more reactive than second than primary hydrogens. So maybe I should just write that here. So relative, I'll, I'll just abbreviate that REL, relative reactivity of secondary relative reactivity primary is about four to one and this this number here it only applies for chlorination other radical halogenations have different 
different relative rates of reactivity. So a uh, a secondary product is is or a secondary hydrogen is is four times more reactive than a primary hydrogen. And in the next video, I'll actually show you why this is the case.